What's up, Panther Nation? We are 14 to 10, Packers lead at halftime in Lambeau Field. And I've got my special 2015 hat on. Some of you may know the significance. If you saw my video uh, for the preview of this game, then you know the significance and in previous videos. But uh, if you do not, this is the hat I bought at Bank of America Stadium uh, when we beat the Packers in 2015 and took a th commanding three-game lead over the entire NFC Conference. But today, today, i, I got to say, man, Gerald McCoy and Vernon Butler are the real deal. These guys, <laughs> they just blew Rodgers up. On that last play. Or was that the running back? I, I couldn't even tell. E either way. <laughs> yeah. These guys just shut that play down. And, you know, that first time out by the Panthers was wise by Ron Rivera. Um, I agree with it 100%. And... I do, I would do it again because you want to give these guys as much rest as possible before they actually have to come out there and make the stop. Make sure you get the correct play called. Make sure that you get the stop and make sure that Green Bay does not get points at all whatsoever. Two seconds left. Excellent call, Ron. I agree with you arguing with the refs as well. These refs are just making some garbage calls today. Garbage. Straight garbage. Like, hot dumpster fire trash garbage calls today. How many of y'all thought that was roughing? Be honest in the comment section. Be honest. Mm-mm. Nope. Not roughing, sir. Not roughing, ma'am. Uh-uh. Man... This defense is doing some work. But I saw some laziness. And I'm not thrilled about it. I won't name a certain free safety that should have actually covered that guy on the deep pass of like 30 plus yards. <coughs> Trey Boston. <coughs> Sorry, I had to cough. But, um, yeah. Just him doing... Trey things, I guess. But, uh, honestly, Ross Cockrell's not doing that bad. It's just Aaron Rodgers being Aaron Rodgers. And, you know, you, you can't fault him for that. It's been pretty good coverage. It's just Rodgers throwing excellent passes. Like he always does. Uh, what I'm happy with is, uh, Greg Olson on these wide open passes. I, I don't even know how he got that wide open on both those passes, but hey, we'll take them. We'll take them. Uh, DJ Moore doing some work. Uh, Christian McCaffrey doing what he does. You know, CMC MVP. I mean, what else can you say there? Um,. Our defense held the Packers to a field goal before the start of the second quarter, and I felt like we did a really, really solid job in that first quarter defensively. If we can find a way to get back to that for quarters number three and quarters number four, we got a real shot at winning this game. Real shot at winning it. If we can hold them to... Th that was two three and outs in the first quarter. Two three and outs, folks. Mm-hmm. Good D. Shaq, you have got to step up and stop the running game. It's a known fact. You are bad at stopping the draw. It's a known fact. You are bad at coverage over the middle. And they are taking advantage of that. Rodgers knows that. Everybody knows that. Even their grandmas know that. And they're not even watching football. 
Like, come on, guys. If we haven't figured out how to fix Shaq's coverage problem by now, I, I don't know what to tell you. But here's the bigger problem. Who puts Shaq Thompson one-on-one -on -one against a wide receiver? Who does that? Was that Ron? Was that Eric Washington? Who was that? I, I, do, I don't ever want to see that again. I don't, I don't, no. Never want to see that again. Oh, boy. I'm not thrilled with Kyle fumbling that ball. But I understand mistakes happen in football. You know, it happens. But here's what's not a mistake. Number 65, who was a blocker on our offensive line, had the laziest block I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, it was Rimmer's bad that led to that sack. Come on, dog. Protect your QB. Alright, we got a solid second half going. We know what we got to do. Let's get this W. Keep pounding.